Please rise and join in our opening hymn, Glory to the Cross. <coughs> Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus be with you all. And, and with your, your spirit. spirit. We now receive as a parish the oils blessed and consecrated at the cathedral at the Chrism Mass. The oil of the sick. We bring the oil of the sick blessed by our bishop for the anointing of all those who suffer in mind and body. By the holy anointing, may the sick gain strength even in their suffering. May they be released from fear and receive the consolation of faith. The oil of catechumen. We bring the oil of the catechumens, blessed by our bishop, for the anointing of all the infants, children, and adults who are called to prepare for baptism. By this anointing, may they receive strength to renounce sin and the glamour of evil, and so approach, cleansed, the water of baptism. Holy Chrism. We bring the Holy Chrism the mixture of oil and fragrant perfume consecrated by our bishop 
to anoint all the baptized in the sacrament of confirmation, to anoint the hands of priests and the heads of bishops, to also anoint the altar table and the walls of the house of the church. The ministers will now repose the oils in our ambry. So let the church now sing glory to God in the highest. God, you have called us to participate in this most sacred supper, in which your only begotten Son, when about to hand himself over to death, entrusted to the church a sacrifice new for all eternity, the banquet of his love. So grant that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity and of true living as we pray through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns in union with the Holy Spirit, our God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall mark for you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year for you. Tell the whole congregation of Israel that on the tenth of this month, they are to take a lamb for each family, a lamb for each household. If a household is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join its closest neighbor in obtaining one. The lamb shall be, shall be divided in proportion to the number of people who eat of it. Your lamb should be without blemish, a year old male. You may take it from the sheep or from the goats. You shall keep it until the 14th day of this month. Then the whole assembled congregation of Israel shall slaughter it at twilight. They shall take some of the blood and put it on the two doorposts and the lintel of the houses in which they eat it. They shall eat the lamb that same night. They shall eat it roasted over an open fire with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. And this is how you shall eat it, with your loins girded, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand. And you shall eat it hurriedly, for it is the Passover of the Lord. For I will pass through the land of Egypt that night, and I will strike down every firstborn in the land of Egypt, both human beings and animals. On all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgments. I am the Lord. The blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you live. When I see the blood, I will pass over you, and no plague shall destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. This day shall be a day of remembrance for you. You shall celebrate it as a festival to the Lord throughout your generations. You shall observe it as a perpetual ordinance. The Word of God. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Beloved, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. <coughs> the word of God. Thanks be to God. commandment says the Lord love one another as I have loved you Lord 
to be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already put into the heart of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray Jesus. During supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. Jesus came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, You do not know now what I am do doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no share with me. So Simon Peter then said to him, Lord, then not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, One who has bathed does not need to wash except for the feet. Then they are entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you. For Jesus knew who was to betray him. For this reason he said, not all of you are clean. After Jesus had washed their feet, he put on his robe and returned to the table and said to them, do you know what I have done for you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet. You also ought to wash one another's feet. I have set you an example that you also should do as I have done. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Ever since I can remember, it's been the custom on this night to invite people who serve together the same ministries. In my neighborhood this day, they're all gathering. They were scurrying about all day, cleaning their homes, preparing for their guests to celebrate Passover. A great escape from death. From bondage to the Egyptians. For freedom to find their own land. If there's cause to be a church, tonight is the reason. I know all Christian churches celebrate Pentecost as their birthday. But the cause to be church is to be found this night in its celebration. 
We are not celebrating freedom from enslavement or bondage. What we are celebrating is the bond that we make with the Lord, our willingness to enter into that covenant. They use the terms uh, Maundry Thursday. They use the word from Latin, mandatum, a command. That's truly the words of Jesus himself. <clears throat> if you are to be my disciples, you must do this very thing that I have shown you. And we make an example of that. I no longer can get down on my hands and knees, not without a crane to get me back up. <laughs> but the great symbol that we, we do again in ritual. This night is sacred because, again, the reason to be church, that he gave himself to us as another in another way, he took the bread, he shared the cup. He said, now this is me. You remember the first time for yourselves? Remember the frequency every time that you come to the table, to the altar, to say yes? to renew the covenant. This night of all nights, I guess the command would be, and the question I would leave you with, is who would you serve communion to now? You are to receive. We are to bless sufficiently for tomorrow and the day after. Who would you serve the Lord to? Who might you take the Lord to? We have numbers every service that, that do that. But I ask the question of you. This is the command of Jesus. Serve one another. This is not just for Francis as Pope, or our bishops, or our priests, or our deacons, or those employed by the church. It's for all of us to accept the bond that we make with the Lord, to serve, to help, to bring the Lord to others by what we say, by what we do. So I ask you again, once more, to reflect as you will see it reenacted in service here. Who would you bring the Lord to? This is the first of these holy days. <clears throat> so the circle is much broader than the three of us or those who do ministries. It's to everyone. And Christians need to know that. This night, they are to accept the command of Jesus to serve one another. Who will you serve?
as Jesus ministered to his disciples by washing their feet. In a few moments, we will invite you to come forward that you may have your feet washed. After your feet are washed and dried, we ask that you then wash and feed the person that will be seated then right after you. When you come forward, please do remove shoes and socks. Sandy and I, Deacon Sandy and I will begin the ritual out front.
as I'm tying my shoes, I remember I was seven years old when I tied my shoes for the first time. <laughs> Little did I know I'd be doing it forever. <laughs> Jesus didn't have that much trouble, I know. <laughs> My friends, Jesus came to serve and not be served. May the prayers we now offer be a sign of service as we express concern for our sisters and brothers in their needs. Please wait until the last prayer of intercession before responding with a sung response led, led by the choir. On the night before he died, Christ said, do this in memory of me. May our church be Christ's presence throughout the world, assuring that Christ's caring and compassionate ways live on in us. We pray in silence. These three days of the Triduum, this, this continuous Mass from now through the Easter Vigil, are rooted in the rich and meaningful Jewish tradition of Passover. May all peoples of all nations come to recognize and appreciate the richness and significance of all cultures, nations, and traditions. For peace on earth, we pray. Christ humbled himself, knelt at the feet of his friends and disciples, and washed at their feet. May we follow this example, willing always to honor and serve our sisters and brothers, regardless of their social or economic standing, cleansing ourselves in the process. Christ often reached out and touched the sick and suffering. He instru instructs us this evening that what he has done for us, we should do for others. We pray that we be willing to reach out and touch the lives of the sick and suffering in our community. We pray for those who have died, and we pray for those who grieve. We recall now in silence the deceased family and friends that we know. For these prayers spoken, let the church sing. Hear us. so aware of what Christ endured for us, we are aware of the magnitude of his love for us. Confident then of his love, we have offered these prayers to you, Lord God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
friends, pray that our humble gifts, these and all our offerings, be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of God's name, for our good and good of all God's holy church. Lord God, grant us that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord God, through your Son, Jesus. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. So with angels and saints, with all the thrones and dominions in heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. God, you indeed are holy, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things. You make them holy. You never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. So, Lord God, we humbly ask you by the same Spirit, Make holy these gifts we bring for consecration, that they become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, Jesus took bread, giving thanks, said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his friends, saying, take this, all of you, eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the cup, giving thanks. He said the blessing, gave it to his friends, and said, take this, all of you, drink from it. For this is the cup of my blood, blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. We proclaim the mystery of faith.
So, Lord God, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon this offering of your people. And recognizing this sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may receive inheritance with your people, especially the, bir the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. Lord God, may this sacrifice of our reconciliation advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, our bishops, Jerome, James, Jeffrey, and Richard, with all bishops, priests, deacons, religious, and your entire people that you have gained for yourself. And Lord God, listen to the prayers of the family gathered here before you. In your compassion, gather to yourself all your people scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to those who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Pray then with confidence as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord God, from all that is evil. Grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we will be always free from worry and fear as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins. Look on the faith of your whole church. And grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other now a sign of the peace of Christ. Peace be with you.
This is the Lamb of God, Jesus the Lord. Happy are we who share at this table. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word.
Let us pray. O oh Lord God, grant that just as we are renewed by the supper of your Son in this present age, so we may enjoy this banquet for all eternity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
Chosen twelve recall.
creation.